Well, I'll come back to pushing technology to the limit. We're talking about being hacked. And uh, that's my sixth sense of humor of being hacked. And, uh, but who can you trust uh, to fix your computer? Uh, today is a wide range of hackers out on the internet. And I'm at my friend's house today. Uh, and she's got a wild story about how she got hacked. And she just happened the other day. Now, I am uh, going to be letting you hear what she has to say. But... I am, uh, with her request to stay off camera, you'll just hear her, but you won't see her. You'll see me and some other people in, in the room as she talks. So let me get to uh, having her tell you her side of the story on how she got hacked. This actually happened yesterday. Um, a friend was over, and I had been telling them about a website that I sometimes frequented. Um... And my friend was very interested in it. So I thought I would show it to him and um, the different items and stuff on the website that he might be interested in. Um, as we were looking at the website, all of a sudden the website just went off the site. And... Uh, this, I guess you'd call it advertisement, I use that word loosely, uh, came on that there was problems with my computer and I should call this number and uh, at first they said it was from uh, PN Fix, which is supposed to be Premier Net Fix. And uh, since I had been having some trouble with my computer for some time, uh, the keyboard locking up, um, difficulty getting on the different websites and stuff, I was actually dumb enough to fall for it. So I called them. Uh, little did I... No, uh, but found out afterwards that the problems with the computer can be signs that you're going to be hacked, that somebody is following you and is getting your information on the computer. Well, I didn't really get suspicious at first when I called the number, but it was a foreign voice talked to me for a while, seemed to really know what they were talking about. Then they wanted me to talk to someone else in a different department. One more time, foreign voice, but really seemed to know what they were talking about. After the third time with this, I started getting suspicious. They seemed to have all my information. Which little did I know they got from the computer, from the website I had been showing my friend, who had my banking information and stuff, because I had bought stuff through there. And um, the last person they had me talk to, much to my surprise, had an American accent. But they seemed kind of surprised, you know, when I, um, they tried to use my bank debit card for payment of the atrocious sum of $699. Oh, wow. And, uh, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind of a highway robbery, and that in itself was a bit of a red flag, that something was screwy in Denmark. Um, but when I go... Well, you can't. It's Sunday. Kind of surprised voice. Oh, it's Sunday. I'm like, yes, it's Sunday. You know, I was half tempted to say, uh, duh, but I didn't. And, um, like I said, this man with the American voice, should I give, it, should I give his name? Just leave it anonymous. All right. Um, who gave me a name, which I'm pretty sure was phony. Oh. 
out. And he's like, oh, well, you could write us a, a, a check. But they didn't want it mailed. They wanted it, you know, where I would pour up to the screen and, and, you know, they could take a picture of it and stuff. And I'm like... So they were seeing you at this time? So you were doing a video conference on your computer? No, and that's what's strange. Well, how in the world are they going to take a picture of it if they aren't? That's what I meant. Conference? That's what I thought was strange. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, uh, hello, I haven't got my webcam on, so you can't take a picture. How do you even know I've got a webcam? There's something really fishy here. Which was another red flag. So I finally told him, I says, uh, the conversation's over. I says, I'm not talking to you. I says, I'm beginning to get this sense. I says, that there is something sque uh, screwy here. And they had added some crap to my computer. Supposedly a, a banking security and a this and a that and so on. Which struck me kind of strange by some things that they had said, which I had already mentioned to you. So I hung up on them. Well, guess what? They must have really taken a liking to me or else my pink card because they called me back three times and that phone must have rang, well, I counted a total of 98 times, one right after the other, which of course I didn't answer. And as soon as I got a chance, I called my bank at a number they've got which I am fortunate that this hacker didn't get a hold of, and told my bank to discontinue my debit card, issue me another one, and cancel my debit card as of this morning. And these people, since they don't have my social security number, thank heavens I, you know, headed this off. But this is just a warning to other people out there that these people are very convincing, definitely know what they're doing when it comes to a computer. They're not idiots, the way you might think. And they're out there. And my bank, when I talked to him this morning, guess what? I was absolutely right. They had traced it, and the hackers were out of the country. So take this as a warning. Wow. I mean, that's amazing, that, just that quick. So ask yourself, who can you trust these days to fix your computer when you need to? Uh, definitely not remote access, that's not the way to go, especially not with somebody that's uh, advertising on the internet or television. Now, I'm a technician by trade, and I fix people's computers. And I am going to be repairing my friend's computer, and... I highly recommend never trusting anybody that you do not know, especially on the internet. I mean, that's just a, uh, a place to just get yourself ripped off. And, jeez, I mean, I never charged 600 bucks to repair someone's computer. I mean, good grief. Bucks. Wow, that's amazing. And uh, I'll uh, be talking to you uh, on the next video. And if you know of somebody uh, that could use this information, please share it with them. Uh, pass it around on Facebook. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, there's only one place you're going to get good information, and that is here at Pushing Tech Down to Limit, where I go to the extreme to give you help so you know right up front where, uh, what to do with this and what to do with that. So I'll see you on the next video and have a great day.